Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of No Limits. My name is Scott Morgan Roth, the Motor City Madmouth, and joining me here in the studio is Candy Ebling. Candy, how are you? I'm doing good, Scott. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Great subject tonight, right, Candy? What is our subject tonight, Scott? Staycation during a pandemic. So, what does that mean? What is that? Staycation is usually a holiday in your own country or one where you base is home and you usually explore places in your town. Um, sometimes a staycation is just in your home. You can give yourself a break from work and people and dressing up. You can stay in your pajamas all day long. Don't need to worry about planning that or you can do things you would do on a holiday. Let's all face it right now. We're in a pandemic, and who wants to be out traveling on airplanes? Can we even go to other countries? Will they take us? Well, to me, okay, other countries won't take you, but you're dealing with a crazy man here. They probably wouldn't take you under normal circumstances, much less now. Oh, that's true. I, I, I make no bones about it, okay? But the reality is, yeah, it certainly would be a little bit challenging to go on an airplane, but for me, I like to drive. Now, the question is, is when I get on the road, where do I go, where do I stay? That's another story. Especially nowadays, because depending on where you live might depend on, can you travel? Do you have to be quarantined? For those of us that work, and we have only so, much, so many vacation days. So if I've gotta be quarantined 14 days, when I come back or when I go, that's probably most of my vacation, if not all, for some people. So are they really gonna venture any place? Good point. But we live in the state of Florida, so we can go a lot of different places here in the state of Florida a couple of hours away, whereas other people don't quite have that advantage depending on the state that they're in. So yeah, that's a good idea. A day trip within your own state or how many people can say this? And I can, I'm one of them. I'm guilty of this. When I was growing up, I lived in a town and there were many things you could do in that town. And there are things you would tell people coming in from out of town, but I guess because I lived in that town, I never did those things. So right now, as long as those things are open, you could go do them. Whether it be a tour of a museum in your area or a tour of a brewery or a winery depending on where you live i've got to tell you a funny story now that you've brought that up being a metro detroiter like i am and for all you detroit people out there okay i have to own up to the fact that i never made it to greenfield v village the henry ford museum i didn't you take it for granted and yet I know that museums are pretty good. I've been to a lot of them, but I never made it to the Henry Ford Museum. I lived and grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or right around the suburb of Milwaukee. I never went to Miller Brewery. No kidding. I've been to Miller Park where the Milwaukee Brewers play, but not where they brew the beer. And how many people, I mean, it's the brewers. Like, why did I never do that? Because so many people live in a place and they just say, oh, I'll get to that. I'll do that some other day, some other day. Well, now is that some other day. You can't go anyplace else. Why not do things right around your location? Yeah, that, that, that's a really good point, too. You know, we tend to take things for granted, you know, when we go out of town. But when you're in town, you know, there are some pretty good places much less the fact that in your particular state. How many people actually live in the state of Florida don't have time to work on their tan because they're always working? Of course, yeah. That happens yeah. a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I work, I live, we live here in Florida. I'm at work by 8, 8, 15, 8, 30 in the day. Don't get, don't leave till 6, 6, 30. That doesn't leave a lot of daylight time for me. So yeah. Picking a day and setting aside, one of the things that's fun is to plan for a trip. So let's start there. I mean, it could be a staycation. Okay, so I'm going to stay home. I'm going to set aside two days, make it a long weekend. 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Plan something like you were gonna plan a vacation. We were planning on going to England this fall. Well, that's obviously not happening. So now let's plan us to do something for our long weekend. Let's go ahead and make the plans. Don't just say, oh, I'll do it a different day. If you wanna spend the day at the beach, let's plan a whole day at the beach. Let's plan a day going through the Everglades. Set things aside that you'll need. Make a list of the things that you wanna do and pick it up and just do it. Plan it and don't wait. Don't wait for tomorrow because none of us are ever promised tomorrow. That's for sure. So what is some of the things that people do when they're on vacation? So you go, you go to a, a place, what, do you, what are some of the things you do? Well, it depends on where you're going. Like where? Well, for example, we went to Branson, right? And there were so many different shows out there and a lot of different museums. And the whole town is built around that whole thing. So Branson, Missouri is an interesting place out there. Okay, so now take that Branson, Missouri. And now plan your day to go online and visit online Branson, Missouri. See what you can see. Some of these places, because they can't do shows to the public, they actually have shows that you can purchase a ticket to online. Or you can purchase a ticket to a museum and they'll walk you through a museum. Um, one of the things you always do normally is you'll go out to eat, right? Because you're not at home, you can't cook. Because most of us don't stay at like an extended stay that would have a kitchen. Most of the time you're, you're in a hotel room, so you're going to go out to eat. Okay, well, let's, for instance, where is the, where's the one place you want to go out, outside the country? Well, I do want to get to England. Okay, so tell me, what kind of food do they eat in England? I don't know. So research that, and instead of you going there, let's bring England to you. So let's look at the ideas of what we have. What can you do in England? You can go visit Wim Wimbledon. So let's go view that online. They do what? Breakfast, strawberries and champagne. So do strawberries and champagne at home. You can go to a pub up out there. I'm sure you can get hush puppies. Research the kind of food from that area and cook it at home. Of course, here's an idea for England. For those of you that live in the state of Florida, go to Epcot Center, and then you can tour the different countries within Epcot Center. I did that back in 1986, and that's as close as I've gotten overseas as anywhere else. But Epcot Center is a really cool place, so you really do have more of a hands-on thing over there. You just have to plan that ahead, because I believe Epcot Center, you can't just walk up and buy day of tickets anymore. I think of all the Disney attractions because they're only allowing so many people in the parks at this time. So again, it goes back to plan your vacation or staycation. Can you imagine though without this technology how much more difficult it would be to plan a vacation? I remember when I was planning a vacation years ago, I would go to AAA, I'd get my trip tech and then be able to plan accordingly and with the way I used to travel I drove everywhere and figured it out when I got there buy a ticket get there or drive get there and deal with it later but that was then this is now I think a lot of us are really spoiled with the online stuff because after all it is an added convenience to do a lot of shortcutting for all the things you'd have to do otherwise but it also can give you more ideas of things too that you might not have thought of when you were visiting a place either so it, it really it's I mean it's it's got its pluses and minuses just like a lot of things in life um, but so let's talk about anybody that's an outdoor lover what can they do at a staycation they could let's pack let's have a picnic let's pack a picnic let's let's lay some blankets outside or string up a hammock bring some music spend the days day outside Let's watch the sunset, because you know that's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, yeah. You could pitch a tent in your backyard. 
Go camping for those that love camping. Camp outside. Go stargazing. Or for that matter, there's probably enough state parks in your respective states. You can always put, pop up a tent, RV, motorhome, whatever, and go there. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can. And you and you won't get devoured on the gas costs if you stay locally. That's right. That's right. So for all you food lovers, what do you think you could do as a staycation? Create a backyard in your a barbecue in your own backyard. How about have a wine and cheese night? Have wine from different countries or different parts of the world. Learn how to bake bread. Take an online cooking class. Eat dessert. It's just not for dinner anymore. And for those of you that have suggestions on the broadcast about what to do, feel free to go out there and send them to a South Florida Tribune at gmail.com. That's South Florida Tribune at gmail.com. So we could also, what else do we normally do when we go on vacation? Maybe we might go relaxing and have a drink. So let, let's look up what kind of a drink might be fun from a part of the world that you might want to visit. Learn how to do food prep, um, prep preservation. You know, how do you pickle vegetables? How do you do canning? Okay, how about you art lovers, music lovers, or culture lovers? What might you want to do? Might you want to see a show on Broadway? You can do it online. Visit a museum or an art gallery. There are thousands of those that offer virtual tours. Even the Smithsonian does. Virtual tours around the world. Make art. Watch music concerts online. For those of you that love music. What about you that like to learn? Scott, I know you love education. What could, what could you start doing? In what sense? To learn more. Well, everybody's talking. If you're going online classes, there's another way to do it. A lot of people are doing it. Although me, personally, I'm used to going to class in person. But nowadays, because of the pandemic, more and more students are being forced to take online classes because they're not permitted on campus. How about those of you that have always thought about learning a different language? There are even free apps that allow you to teach you a different language. So then when you can go after the pandemic and you do decide to travel to a country, you'd be able to speak more fluently. What about people that want to stay active? I'm a busybody. I like to exercise. Not really, but what can I do? You could do join an online exercise class or yoga class. You could have a dance party in your living room. There we go. You could start a small garden outside or inside. You could pl you start taking up an outdoor sport. You could do a do-it-yourself do project at home or do some spring cleaning. What about those people? And Scott, I would kind of put you in this category. You like to socialize. You like to be around people and talking with people. And that's why you're doing this podcast right now. Right? That's right. So what are some of the things that you've done to stay in touch with people during the pandemic? Well, I mean, I'm actively involved with a lot of Zoom calls. Okay. Perfect example. You could have a Zoom party. You could actually have Zoom time lunch with your friends. So instead of actually being at a table, you can all be on Zoom eating lunch together, and then you can say you had lunch with your friends. Well, I'm finding actually, now that you've brought that up, the Chamber of Commerce is there doing that to try to keep activity amongst everybody else. I'm on networking calls. So, yeah, you know, you didn't know much about Zoom, but you get to know it really, really, really quick, and you find... That Zoom may be here to stay anyways. I shouldn't say may. We'll be here to stay. It will be, but there's other there's other ones as well because you can also do it on Instagram, Snapchat, Messenger, and FaceTime, of course. For all you Apple people listening right now, there's also House Party, um, Skype, if you want to have, you know, a group of people. Um, 
you can just spend time with your pets. You know, we have we have two little cats at home. Well, one's not so little, but you know, <laughs> yeah, just right. have fun cuddling with your pets, pets or spending time with them. You could join a Twitter chat or write some feel good emails. When was the last time you touched base with Oh, I don't know, one of your high school buddies. It's probably been a while, right? Well, I mean, on Facebook all the time, in terms of writing email, let me tell you, I struggle with emails just to open up the pertinent ones, let alone get into But you're a writer. I am, but that doesn't mean I write emails, only when I have to. I know what I'm a writer. When I, Emails to me are what they are. Uh, you know, they're a quick way to save that 39 cents or 50 cents or whatever the postage is these days just to get state your case and blow. I'm still an old school old telephone. School. Yeah, old I, school. I, yeah, I don't Guilty deny that. No, I, it's okay. I'll deal with it. You will, huh? Okay, so let, let's, what about, what about those of us that a lot of times will travel for holidays? What can we do? What, can you look back at old photos? Recreate a trip. Did you ever scrapbook that trip? Or did you organize your photos of that trip? Now's the time to do it. And then you're recreating your trip as you go. You could read travel blogs. Plan, plan out a trip once this pandemic um, lessens. Plan a trip that you want to take. Start researching it now. And... Start saving your money for it now. Because we all know that traveling is not always cheap. You can find cheaper ways to do it. Start planning, thinking about it, and saving for it now. No doubt about it. Hey, listen, for all you folks that do know me or will know me, I personally love driving anyways. It doesn't matter to me. Don't have to worry about all the obstacles that you're going to have to deal with with the airlines. And I'm going to tell you, they're not getting any easier to talk about how more difficult it was to travel after 9-11 because of the security checks you take those security checks from 9-11 and then add them to social distance in a pandemic and you have yourself a headache that you're going to need Tylenol 333 to take care of because naturally you know COVID-19 you don't know and then you're there's such a big risk and everybody's quarantining you so me I like to drive I understand that. I understand that. I I personally like to get there quicker so I can spend more time at my destination. But I do see the benefits of driving as well. Um, it also, sometimes one of the benefits of driving allows you to stop and see other places along the way. Now you're talking my language. I know. I know. Driving. Vroom, vroom. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> That's my version of it. Okay, okay, let's get back to the staycation ideas. How about those who like to organize or plan and write lists? What can they do? They can make a bucket list. Write a list of goals for the future. You know what? Call your grandparents. Ask them stories about them growing up. Learn about your heritage. Because, let's face it, we're not promised tomorrow, and neither is your grandparents at this point. Everybody always wants to know, oh, where did I come from? You know, um, what is my background? Who came across the pond? You know, was it your parents? Was it your grandparents? Was it your great grandparents? Do a bi- you know a biological tree. Do do a family tree and see. Well, my great grandparents, especially my great grandfather, came from Russia. Really? Yeah, he did. I wouldn't have guessed that with the Morgan Roth name. No, you probably wouldn't, but I'm giving you uh, some information. With a name like Morris Kroll, who came from Russia, okay, then at least I know that far back. Okay, okay. Now, my dad's father was born in Columbus, Ohio. Well, you know, if you're a Wisconsin Badger or Michigan Wolverine, you don't really like that connection, but he made his way to Metro Detroit. I can say on my father's side, they came over from Germany. Not my grandparents. It was before them, but we come from Germany. So, But see, interesting things like that. You can learn. Take the time now to learn those things. Those people that are creative, what can they do? Write that book, Scott. I know you've been talking about it. Draw, paint, 
Who wants to take up photography? It's a great time to learn. You could take all kinds of still shots. You can practice at night. You can, I mean, and there's all kinds of free courses online. Write a daily journal. Start a blog. You can do it. Write that poem. Start singing, because we all know we like to sing along to the, as we're driving to where we're going. Do you like to sing, Scott? No. And I'll tell you. You got to break my rule, huh? Well, if I started singing, let's go back to the memories. Would I need, would I need headphones then? Possibly. <laughs> hey, if I if I started singing, singing, you'd have that Memorax glass broken in a heartbeat. Remember, okay. remember okay. Memorax, folks? I do. I remember that. Now I don't mind karaoke, but at least that's the, singing. Yeah, but that's different. Why is it different? At least it's scripted, and I can. Uh, at least oh, I so know you what need I'm to reading. read the words in front of you. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, that's still a stretch. I mean, now if I'm going to get into singing, I always go after the songs I know the best. I got to pay tribute to the Carpenters because they were good. You know, we've only just begun's a good song, Top of the World, and artists that you're familiar with, so at least you don't feel you're that bad. So I guess going back to one of my themes that if I was going to plan a trip, and let's face it, I've never been, and I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to say this, I've never been in New York. I've always got to go someday. So maybe one of the things I would do now is because, let's face it, New York has been a hot bread to um, a hot state for a lot of the COVID-19 pandemic. So right now I really do not want to go. But, so plan a day around it. So, okay, you know what? What can I do in New York? I could sing New York, New York. I could, let's see, skyscrapers. I could do do an online tour. I think a Statue of Liberty, the Smithsonian. I mean, there's all kinds of things. The um, the memorial, the 9/11 memorial. I could do research, and I'm sure there's really good restaurants in New York. I could research what's what are some of the things they're famous for. New York style pizza, right? Yep. Okay, so well, let's can't figure forget. out how to make a New York style pizza. Yeah, why don't you figure out how to make a bagel while you're at it? Oh, there we go. A New York bagel. That's it. See, these are all ideas that you can do at home on your staycation. How about those of us that just need rest? Oh, my daily dra job just keeps me going and going, and I'm always on my toes. And then I come, come home, and I work with my husband a second time part-time job here so I just want to stake I my staycation I just want to rest what are some of the things I could do well for that matter you could go out get there and get yourself a tablet and go ahead and play games on it I know a lot of people use electronic devices as a way to occupy their time take their mind off their pressures and so forth one of the other things I know we've done this family game night We've been games at home, board games. We went out and got a couple board games. We've played a little bit of Sorry. We've played a little bit of, uh, what's the dice one? Yahtzee. Yahtzee. We played a little card, we played some card games. Yeah, I learned a few when we went up to Tennessee to visit your uh, sister, brother-in-law, and your niece. We've played Battleship. We actually, uh, <clears throat> there's another game that we used to play. We haven't played it as much because you're kind of ruthless when you play it. Oh, that thing called backgammon? Yes. Yeah, but she didn't want to admit it. Mm. Well, I'm admitting it now. It's out there now. But one of the other things we could do is we could just sleep longer. Or, you know what? Those afternoon naps. Or one of the things, and most of us, I don't think, do this enough, detox from social media. Bad chance. It's me time. Don't go on the social media and learn about everything else. You could read a book. You could, you know, watch YouTube. Teach yourself a new hobby or how to do something. Meditate. Have a spa day yourself. Yeah. Here's, w here's one that you could do for me, Scott. What? Breakfast in bed. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah? No? Well, you know, all right, now I'm being put on the... I've done it before, 
But I like the meditating part, taking a ride up the ocean. That's what we do have the luxury here in the state of Florida that I can just take my bull cruiser and drive wherever I've got to do, play some nice R&R music and veg, see what you've got, whether we're driving up the ocean, going up to Lake Okeechobee, or finding another place in the state that we do live in where there's an awful lot to do. You can, you can, you can. The beauty of it is you can do what you want to. What do you enjoy or what do you look forward to? Because that's the one thing you want to do. You want. Let's face it, everybody. We started out the year in January and there was no COVID yet. At least we didn't know of COVID at that point. And most of us vacations run January through December, your typical calendar year. So most people, some people do, but most people don't take vacations January, February. They might start starting in March because normally they say, depending on how much you get, you should take a quarter of it the first three months, a quarter of it the second three months, a quarter of it the third three months, and a quarter of it the four, last four months. So those people that get four weeks vacation should have taken a week between January through March. Okay, and if they didn't, now, bam, March comes along and here comes COVID and stop traveling everyone. The world is stopping. So now what are you going to do with all that vacation time? You can't carry it all over. If you're lucky enough, an employer might carry over some of it, but it's not going to carry over all of it because let's face it, we can't put two years of vacation in one year for next year. So plan some of that staycation ideas now. Take them now. Well, I can tell you right now, there's 50 states, and you know, if you want to count D.C. as 51 or whatever, every state has beauty to it, whether it's playing golf, mountains, or whatever. There's no way that nobody can tell me that within your own state, without having to quarantine anywhere, that you can't find a good spot to go. Now, if you're worried about hotels being sanitized, and other things depending on the area. I get that, totally understand it, and most people will do it. I know that what we did is before things got really, really out of control, especially over Memorial Day, you and I uh, were able to go to the Panhandle of Flo Florida. We went to Pensacola, Destin, Panama City, neat place. But at every state, you can always do something at. You can, yes. And if you're worried about the hotels, Take your own beddings. Right. You know, take gloves. Take take your masks. Cause some states you have to wear the mask. They're ma mandatory. But that doesn't mean you can't do things. And you can take cleaner if you want to sanitize. If you don't know that they did a good enough job. You can always do that yourself. Rent a camper. Pitch a tent. One of your, you were talking about state parks. Plenty of those. Every part of the country has them. If you're in certain states like Arizona, you got the Grand Canyon. If you're in L.A., there's a lot of tourist things to do out there. I mean, these are just states I'm just talking off the top of my head. Take, I mean, like in Florida, I know what you can do. One of the things you can, and I, I honestly can say I don't know right now if you can do it, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you can. You can go on a boat tour. I don't think boat tours, because they're out in the open, that they're, they've shut down. So go take a boat tour. Go visit a national park, a botanical garden in your in your area. Spend day on a lake or a river. There's a lake or a river in every state. You might not have the ocean like we're very fortunate to have, but every every state has at least a lake or a river going through it. You can go kayaking, go picnicking, go tubing. You got zoos. Any state yeah. has a zoo. You like animals. Exactly. Exactly. Go for a walk, climb a mountain, go for a bike ride, you know? And now some of the sport professional sports have started in play. You know what? I can just take a day and sit and watch sporting events at home. Or, here's an idea, rent a projector, take it outside, project the game on your garage or on your house, and it's like you're outside at the event. Invite a couple of friends over. You can social distance outside. Make some popcorn. Have a fire. 
have fun. And you know what? A lot of sports bars in the area go out there and have a limited amount of capacity. So you can always go to uh, sports bars. We're not telling you to get out of your habits. We're just trying to, the whole idea with the broadcast here is to give you other ways to get creative from within. Exactly, exactly. A lot of Some of the sports bars now are so creative that they have little outside eating areas or um, or if you're nervous about going to a restaurant, I get it. I get it. Some of them open. Go when they open. So you're one of only a couple that are there. It might be lunchtime. Go at 11. It might, some of you might be saying, well, that's too early for lunch. Okay, well then go in an off time if you don't want to be there with a lot of other people. Maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 3. Do a late lunch or do an early dinner. You remember the senior dinners? People eating at like 4 o'clock? Just have a good time, but please people, especially during this pandemic, you need to take care of yourself. And part of that is relaxing or taking vacation time, taking me time. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy. Trust me. Well, it doesn't take an awful lot to go crazy during this time. It really doesn't. No, it doesn't. I mean, people are so nervous about this time. And, you know, maybe people have lost a loved one. Maybe they just need, you know... I mean, they could have... We have a family member that is sick, and we can't visit them. Maybe it's FaceTiming with them. But remember, you need to do something for yourself as well. So you don't go crazy, because you need to keep going. Yeah, this is a very tough time, folks. We, we kid you not. Everybody's going through a very different time, unprecedented time is what we're going through. You know, and and who knows when there'll be any relief in sight for COVID nineteen. We don't know. We're looking for. All we're doing is testing, and we're nowhere close to a vaccination right now. We're just not close to a vaccination. College sports are being canceled right now. You know, the Big Ten, the Pac-12, to name a couple of the big Power Five conferences. Meanwhile, a lot, the only sports that are going on right now are the heavily, heavy bubble sports. So again, but there's plenty of things that you can do on your own to try to keep it real. Mm-hmm. I agree. But take time for yourself because you just can't, um, because you need to. You need to look out for you because if you don't look out for you, who's going to? And again, like I said, vacation time. Don't let it keep crawling up and keep accumulating because your employer's not going to let you take it all at the end of the year. They're not going to let you carry it all over to next year. And they're not going to say, Oh, here's a check for all the unused vacation time you didn't use. I mean, maybe there are some employers out there that'll do any one of those three, but not the majority. As you know, folks, you're listening to No Limits. Here, my name is Scott Morgan Roth, the Motor City Man Mouth. My co-host is Candy Ebling. She's the uh, she takes care of the South Florida Tribune website, uh, puts all the content on there, and does all the things we need to do. You're listening to live coverage. This broadcast is also being heard on Apple Podcasts, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. So please share this broadcast with everybody. That way a lot of people can draw off what we're talking about. We look to be doing a lot more broadcasts on our own on Wednesday nights. It's the one show I really feel that we can go wherever we want, keep it kosher, do the things we want to do, and lighten things up with the most creative different ideas. If there's any ideas that you'd like to give us to talk about, please once again email us at southfordtribune at gmail.com and again, you're, you can once again pick up this broadcast on Apple Podcasts, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Google Podcasts. If you want to also some other pertinent content information is if you want to follow us on social media, feel free to do so at Tribune South. Facebook, South Florida Tribune, go ahead and like the page. You can Follow us on Instagram, South Florida Tribune. We have a YouTube channel called South Florida Tribune where we'll have more and more videos on there as time goes on. 
And again, the website's www.southfloridatribune.com. Great content from our writers, as well as the media distribution partners that we have. And of course, these broadcasts appear there as well. And as I mentioned to you before, the email address is southfloridatribune at gmail.com. And you can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Scott, S-C-O-T-T, Morgan Roth, M-O-R-G-A-N-R-O-T-H. I'd be more than happy to connect with you there. So, you know, but, you know, again, we try to come up with some original ideas week in and week out. And you know what? That's the best part about something like this is we don't go ahead and just relegate it to just keep it limited. We want to make sure we have a lot of versatility here. So those of you that want to travel to Italy, let's make it a night. Italian wine, make your own homemade pasta. Let's put some Italian music on, and let's party it up at a staycation. Do it for yourself. You'll gladly be happy that you did. Yeah, the only thing I will say you might have a hard time doing is trying to make the recipe of Kentucky Fried Chicken because the Colonel's done a pretty good job making sure that nobody can duplicate it. But there are other ideas that you can go out there and do that you might find you can do a lot more than you even realize. Don't oh. sell yourself short. Of course. You know, research a little bit, plan, and just enjoy. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, do it. Relax. Stay in bed. Stay in your pajamas for a day. Watch movies. It could be a movie thought. Pop some popcorn. Enjoy movies. Enjoy a movie in bed. Do what you want to do for your mental health so you can get through this pandemic and these unprecedented times to stay on the right side of everything. And if you have nothing else, to do when in doubt, just drop and go in your vehicle and drive. You never know what type of ideas might spontaneously come up in your mind that you could go, hey, this is a good idea. Let me let's just go out there and do this. Every state has them. Yeah, they all do. They, I mean, you can you can just even go go online and just type in staycation and get ideas. It's crazy. I mean. 20 great staycation ideas. Absolutely no phones allowed, no working. That's an idea. Set up your space and set up your space ahead of time. So if I'm going to make it like Italy, let's, you know, we're going to have dinner, a romantic dinner. Okay, let's bring the tablecloth out, let's put the candles, let's, you know, use the fine china. Do something for yourself. Play vacation music. You know, um, fill pitchers with water and cut fruit just like you would if you were out someplace. You know, a lot of people like those little fancy umbrella beach drinks. You know, if you go to one of these all-inclusive resorts and they're swimming up at the pool. Well, you know what? Take your drink out to your backyard to your pool. Sit and relax. Have that drink. Read a vacation book. Have a movie-themed not movie night. Have, you know, a, a themed movie night. Like, oh, you know what? I want to do sports movies tonight. And, oh, I want to do, I want to watch the Star Wars trilogy. Or I want to watch The Godfather. I mean, do a talent show for your kids. What kind of talents do you have? Or maybe there's something you've always wanted to learn. Research it. Learn it. Have a dinner delivered. Light some candles and put some music on. Do a craft. Take a luxurious bath. Do something for yourself. And before it's the end of the night, sit back and relax. And say, I'm glad I'm alive. I'll tell you what, folks. You heard it from Candy Evelyn. With all this technology, the cell phones, and all the different things you can do, we're not that a pandemic is easy to deal with, but you have a lot more to work with during a pandemic with all the advanced technological electronic things. Candy, I would often refer to me, tell me that these little cell phones that everybody has on the planet are like little portable computers, and that's exactly what they are. You have a portable computer in the 
palm of your hand. The first time I ever went ahead and saw a cell phone was when I went. I was playing Little League. The umpires didn't show up. I had a coach that had a cell phone in his car, called it from his cell phone, the commissioner from his cell phone, and as a result, you know, was able to get the umpire. So we're a long ways in terms of what you can do with this technology. So anything? anything? You, can, you can do a puzzle. How many people have done a puzzle? Or there's even apps on your phone that allow you to do a puzzle on your phone or on your tablet. I like word searches. You can find apps that'll do that. Have wine tasting at home. You know what? One of the things that some members of my family have done is they've done, they've gone over to another family members and they've had a picnic outside because they don't want to go inside and work because they don't live with them. So they're, they want to be careful. So they do a picnic outside. Do a beach day, meet a friend at the beach, do something outside. Doesn't always have to be inside. Do a food tour of your own city. Everybody gets drawn by food, right, Candy? Oh yeah, who doesn't? I mean, we all have to eat, right? Who doesn't like to eat? That's true. You know, find out more, explore more about a town that you live close to or a city that you live close to. Take a little drive. Maybe you just want to plan your next vacation so you're driving around looking at some different towns and say, you know what, my next vacation, I'm going to go there. You know, so many people break the budget when they go on vacation. You don't need to break the budget. Just plan accordingly. Bring the vacation destination to your home. Again, you want to do a Hawaiian theme? Have a Hawaiian pizza. Drink fruity cocktails. Wear Hawaiian lays and learn how to hula dance. Scott, do you know how to hula? No. Or what about a Disney theme? You could pick your favorite Disney movie to set your theme. You can send out Disney invitations, have Disney decorations, Disney-inspired food and desserts. You can even listen to Disney music or play a game. See, there's all kinds of ideas just out there just waiting for you to do them. Take advantage of them, people. Staycation. It's for everyone. All right. Well, that concludes this edition of No Limits. Candy Ebling, great job tonight. Glad you uh, came up with some really good ideas. I hope if you can get anything out of this broadcast that you'll kindly share it to your friends, family, or whoever. I know that everybody can benefit from this. So on behalf of Candy Ebling, my name is Scott Morgan Roth, the Motor City Madmouth. Thank you for joining us tonight on this edition of No Limits. We ask you to mask up, social distance, and take this virus seriously. The damage it can do to me is just, it, it's just unbelievable the damage it can do. And we certainly don't want you to be on the wrong end of it. So good night, and we will do it again next Wednesday night. Sounds good. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome, Candy.